Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. Today I'm going to compare the Tailmade P760 to the Mizuno 919 Tour Iron. Now looking at the finish, I do prefer the look of the P760. It has this mirrored chrome finish. It just looks a little bit more like a player's iron compared to the 919's brush pearl finish. But to be honest, over time, I think this will be more durable. Now let's see how they look behind the ball. I'm going to go with the 919 first. I've got nice conditions. All right. Oops, that was a bit of a dodgy strike. Now looking at the club behind the ball, the blade length does look quite long and it does have quite a streamlined profile with a narrowed top edge that you do want from a player's style iron. Now, let's have a go with the P760. Let's try and have a better strike this time. All right. That was a good hit and a nice flight. And the club looks a little bit more stubby than the 919, but the top line looks pretty much the same. So now let's give you some feedback on the feel. Let's try and have a better strike this time with the 919. Ah, that was a great strike and a cracking flight and the feel that you get back from this carbon steel forged head is exactly what you'd expect from Mizuno. It feels solid, it feels soft. Okay, so let's try the P760. Let's just try and re repeat that same shot because that was a cracking one. That was a cracking strike and a lovely flight. Now this is a forged head that's been injected with speed foam and that gives you a solid and dampened down soft feel. And now the short irons are actually built from a single piece of carbon steel so I'm guessing they'll also give you a soft feel. So now I'm going to check the forgiveness. I'm just going to place a little bit of face tape on the club. I'm going to try and mis-strike this one off the toe and just see how it performs. Oh, I've definitely caught that one off the toe and I've caught it slightly heavy but the ball still looks like it's travelling with some force. You can see where I've hit from. Now this is a multi-material head which helps to position the centre of gravity more precisely which helps with forgiveness and the sole is designed with turf interaction. So now I'm going to have a try with the 919, let's see how this one performs. Now let's try and strike it similar off the toe. That was a cleaner hit, but it was still struck from the toe. You can see where I've hit from. Now the 919 is designed with a stability frame and this actually helps with off-centre hits. So now I'm going to check how easy they are to work. Let's grab a ball from the creative bag. What have I got today? Ooh, low fade. Bit of a shame. Not one of my favourite shots. Let's go with the P760 first. Let's see how easy they are to move in the air. Alright, low fade. Oh, that was a great strike. And a lovely little bit of movement. Now this player's style look does give you the feeling like you can really shape the ball. Now let's try the 919. Let's see if it's as easy as the last one. All right, same shot. Now 
now that is the one that I'm looking for. That's an awesome shot. And with the blade length just looking a little bit longer, but with a similar top line, the 919 just seems a little bit easier to shape than the P760. Now let's hit a couple of shots, just purely focusing on the distance. Just have some quick ones. Right, go on, good strike. Yeah, that was a good strike and a nice flight. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Let's go with the 919. Let's try and repeat the same thing. That's another good strike and a good flight. So now I'm going to check the readings. If you look at the top two readings, the P760 has carried the ball eight yards further than the 919, but the 919 has performed better when I was hitting the low fade. And considering I caught the P760 heavy when striking from the toe, it has still travelled nearly as far as the 919. So now it's time for me to sum this comparison up, but before I do, the P760 is available in 3 to pitching wedge and gap wedge, and the 919 is available in three to pitching wedge. As you look at the graphics, there are no major differences with the club length and lofts, etc. But as I film this video, on a four to pitching wedge set, the P760s are 115 pounds more than the 919. So this gives me the deciding vote. And on this occasion, I'm gonna wimp out and sit on the fence because I've actually enjoyed hitting both irons. So I'm gonna let you decide which one you prefer when you give them a hit. If you've enjoyed my comparison, please give me some thumbs up, play some comments below. Thanks for watching.